Hey guys, back with another video. Wow, my light is extremely bright and it's like blinding me. Really bright. <laughs> um, maybe some of you guys just woke up because I feel like that's how I feel like in the morning when I wake up. I'm always just like, oh, it's so bright. All right, <clears throat> so Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, I actually wanted to pull a card to see what the whole reading was going to be about. And the Ace of Cups was the card that I ended up choosing um so gratitude at the bottom of this deck so I have a couple of oracle cards that I really wanted to use for you guys to kind of switch it up so I have an animal deck I have the energy for today um for today's reading we're also going to pick a soul's journey card and then we're going to do tarot so we'll just get right into it and see what comes out for you guys so take whatever resonates leave whatever doesn't and then don't let it don't make it fit into your story you know just take it leave it let it go don't let it like put you in anxiety don't let it make you feel fearful um because i feel like in the past when i used to watch oh uh, maybe still i still sometimes do because sometimes i'll do a reading and i think it's like has to do with me but then it had it's like completely somebody else's story but it's like somebody around me so doesn't necessarily have to be you it could be it could be you know anybody that you're around it could be you but what i'm trying to say is it may not always resonate so take whatever you know you get from it and uh yeah leave the rest behind don't let it be don't take it too serious you know these are just tarot cards you guys live your lives like you guys are the ones that live your life I'm not in your life, so I don't know. I'm just reading some cards, so. All right, so let me channel the energy. So first we'll start off with this animal deck and just see, because they have, they have some messages on them, so. All right. Whoa. It's too many. Number 44, though. Let me see. So I just want one, one to two cards to see what the overall energy is going to be like for this reading spirit. One to two cards to see what the energy is going to be like this reading. Okay. This and that are true. This and that are true. Let's do one more. I'll show you guys right now what card came out. One more card spirit for the overall energy. One more card spirit. Hope you guys had a good Saturday. <laughs> well, that flew out. It popped out, actually. So, uh, number nine at the bottom of the deck, brown bear spirit. Take a time out. So, maybe some of you guys may be needing just to take a little break. Um, I know my day tomorrow is going to be like my rest day because I have a really busy week coming up for me. So, maybe you guys are needing to kind of gain your strength back again. Maybe you guys have had... A busy weekend or a busy week busy month um it is the beginning of the month so it's a start there was a new moon in aries on the first so um this right now is a really good time for everybody to like release what no longer serves them and to completely start fresh um you know uh just try to i, I like for me i feel like right now is like the time to whatever it is that we feel like we shouldn't have in our lives the habits eating habits like anything any bad habits i feel like it's a time right now is a really good time to break those habits or we are in favor of breaking our bad habits so um i feel like if you put your mind to it if you just you know what i did and i did this even today on my way home just like a few hours ago um i prayed you know to god and, and asked him to help me heal the things that i needed to heal within myself because i know that it's going to help me for my future with myself and the people that are around me, my relationships, my clients, you know, I really wanted to, I want to heal um, completely, um, get into a better headspace where I can make videos every day or like be more confident in making videos every day, like a lot of different things. So I feel like maybe right now you guys are trying to, maybe you guys are praying. So, um, so yeah, right now is a really good time to just like start fresh, start new, release what no longer serves you and like step into your guys' power. So okay so first thing um first card i got was the dolphin number 20 so it says this and that are true this and that are true 
So what I'm getting out of this card, I actually have the, um, let me read the, the book. Cause what I'm getting out of this, this and that are true. I feel like that could mean like, um, whatever you want to believe, believe it. Like it, it is what it is. That's one of the things that I'm getting this and that are true. Or it could just mean like, yeah, what you're saying is right. What you're thinking is right. You know, let's see what the, what the, um, what the message says. Number 20. All right, so um, dolphin spirit, like her earthly manifestation is a reminder of duality. As a dolphin is both a mammal and sea a mammal and a sea creature, so is dolphin spirit, both this and that. Two truths coexist, the story you tell and another as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering, for there is a blessing too in the helpers that appear. Within clouds are silver linings when we later reflect on what happened, we can see that the situation was both this and that, and a choice led to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either all good, all bad, and people have qualities of both light and shadow. Okay, there was a, it's a really long message, so I don't want to continue to read it, but okay, so yeah, 100%, um, no matter what, yeah, no matter what, I have literally thought about this because it's like how I was in my past, um, you know, we can be a certain way. We can uh, perceive a situation, an argument one way, and then, or like a situation one way, years later we can look back and i'd be like wow if i was that mature like i was now like i am now to then like i feel like i could have handled things way differently but i feel like that's the cycle of life like i feel like a hair right here <laughs> i feel it um i feel like that's the cycle of life like with school with friendships with people that have been in our lives with relationships we can always look back and be like i could have handled that differently or yes that hurt but at the end of the day it got me this or yes that was bad but like look at where we are now or like there's always something to look forward to there's always something to kind of like you know i guess there's always something to look forward to there's always a silver lining of everything don't always think about the bad think about the good so like relationship wise because what i'm getting is when you end of relationship i feel like it doesn't always have to be um bad like it doesn't always have to be like a fight or like a struggle or like yeah of course it's gonna be sad of course there's sadness there but i feel like if someone is deciding to be like well i don't want to be with you anymore or and i'm not saying that this is what's gonna happen but what i'm trying to say is we have to just accept things and once you accept them there's like a blessing that can come in after that so like you're not with somebody but what if you become their friend or what if um you know there's a really deep friendship with that or partnership in some sort of way or you know um even when you got when you have children or something like that and if like it doesn't work out with your parents at least you know like you tried it and like maybe it's time apart like you have to be good by yourself or, or healthy within yourself to be able to provide like um a healthy environment for somebody else so it's like when you feel like um there's issues or something going on in a relationship you kind of just have to accept that there's always going to be a silver lining to a situation like always try to find the good in it not just always think of the negative or the ending always think of it as like there's a blessing that came out of this my child or or my children or you know i learned so much i grew so much nothing's ever wasted that's all yeah okay second card was the swan so time for a deep dive so maybe this is i love these flowers i just noticed that there were flowers along the swan so i think they're really pretty pink flowers anyways so um so time for a deep dive definitely i feel like this has to do with um you know taking a i feel like it has to do with yourself with self 911 911 on the phone um i feel like it has to do with self like take a dive take a deeper dive into like knowing yourself knowing um with discipline maybe being a little bit more disciplined with um the things that you guys are doing um in your life maybe you guys want to have a little bit more stability so in order to have some stability you have to have discipline and a routine if you don't have that down i mean what are you gonna what are you doing and i shouldn't even be one talking it's so hard to keep a routine especially my my life like um i'm always running around doing different things so it's like there's no but you can still have a routine, wake up at a certain time, even if you don't have to, you know, work out, 
be eat at a certain time like always some sort of routine should come out of your day so i feel like discipline is definitely something that um we should all work on having discipline self-control to not do not procrastinate to not do things that are going to set us back type of thing abundance that's not going to set us back from our abundance it says i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality that is very true acceptance i am learning to accept the things that i cannot change let's do one more yes learning to accept things that do not change and peace came out did it is it doing it no okay um, sometimes I do my videos in cinematic, but when I upload them, they may come out as regular videos, but when I'm looking at it, it's, just, it's blurry. So if, I, if I'm leaving it there, it's because I'm seeing it blurry. So sorry guys, but you guys got peace. So it says, um, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So put these up right here for you guys. So you got those because I love these colors, dope colors. Um, so maybe some of you guys, I don't know why I heard like a laundry, laundry, like, um, you know, when you have like laundry, <laughs> this is what I'm hearing in my head. Maybe you guys are doing laundry. I don't know. Um, so yeah, abundance, peace, and acceptance. Happiness is at the bottom of the deck as well. So it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So I feel like you guys are definitely, I feel like right now there's like a lighter note to things. Relationship when I split the deck. So I am attracted to those those people who serve my higher good. Yeah. So what I was, what I was saying was, I feel like overall energy is everybody's kind of like chilling. Either they're chilling or they're just like over it. Because <laughs> I feel like... Um, I don't know i just feel like calm chill you know maybe you guys are taking a little break like i said in the beginning maybe a time a time out is needed just to kind of like regain whatever it is you guys want to do i don't know all right so we're gonna do a couple channeled messages from your person what are we at 12 minutes i'm doing pretty good for two oracle cards in now all right so we'll do some channeled messages from your person it's the the new deck that I made. Why is this? Anyways, I don't know. Yeah. I just didn't want to flip these cards around, but I know some of them are flipped. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, so channel messages from your person. Meant to be popped out. More channel messages from my collector's person. More channel messages. Did any flip over that I saw? I actually saw this card in the beginning. It says, I love myself. I'll show you guys right now. Any more? Scans, but it's in the reverse. So I like don't really want to take that one. the channel messages from my pers uh, collective person please get I think about the day I met you anything else there? okay all right so you got you got I always get what I want <laughs> and I need space to myself right now and then um, baby on the way, but it came up in the reverse, so um, I don't know about that. And then also the scammed card came out in the reverse. Um, I did flip these cards over. That's something that I didn't want to do, and I totally did that. Oh, well. Let's do a couple more. I love you. What else? Last shuffle. I refuse to give up on us. 444 as I looked up at my home. My karmic is making my life miserable. All right, so let's see. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. You can't 
always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, I don't even know the rest. It's like, you get what you need. Something like that. That song just popped in my head. All right. So you guys got meant to be. Meant to be. I love myself. You guys got, I think about the day I met you. Oops, sorry. My hand's like shaking right there. I need space to myself right now. I always get what I want. That's the song that I was telling you. You can't always get what you want. Apparently, this person says, uh, I get what I want. It's my, I can do what I want. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> I refuse to give up on us. I love you. And then remember, baby on the way, but it came up in the reverse. So maybe you're trying. I'm sorry if it's not happening. Um, what's meant to be will be. And um, yeah, that was a low vibrational card. I did not want to read it because we got such good cards. Okay, we're going to do one more. One more Oracle card because I really want to see from the Kipper. I love this deck. All right, and then we'll get into the tarot because I'm six humans. Right? Some of you guys can be focusing on work right now. Maybe listening to some music. All right, let's do it. Talk to me. Okay, so there could be a marriage that's ending, marriage or partnership or commitment. Um, I feel like somebody's kind of upset about it. Um, you could have met this person maybe when you were like 19 or something like that, or you were young. Um, you could have a dog and this dog could be kind of like a cream beige colored dog. Um, <clears throat> you could be, I want to say a nurse, but my mom's a nurse. <laughs> Anyways. Um, the main female and sudden wealth came out privileged lady just came out too so i really wanted to get my collective's energy and this is the energy that we got and then that uh the bad health coffin and then the lovers card came out so i feel like there could be some sort of um commitment that's ending um okay i feel like there's some sort oh okay so what i'm getting is there was a situation Maybe somebody wanted to leave. Um, ooh. Okay. Lovers again at the bottom. So we got, um, so remember, we got the main female and we got the privileged lady, okay? After this came out, we got the wealthy man, but it came up in the reverse. We got thief. And then um, we got this right here, which is a child in reverse. Oh, courtship came out way before. Um, it came out after the privileged lady. Sorry, guys. But also the concern. So what I'm getting out of this, maybe somebody has a child. Um, maybe this child, uh, they're now finding out that maybe this is not... Um, their child or something like that let me see let's get into it a little bit more um okay so i feel like maybe this could have broken up a marriage or a commitment and um or something like that 
and now somebody's gonna be or maybe somebody was lying about something about a situation with a child and it says main female you know the main female actually in this deck is a is a mistress because the mature woman is a uh, look the mature woman just came out the mature woman is the wife and then the main female is the mistress so um okay oh i'm getting it now okay so the card that came out was the main female the sudden wealth and then it was the um privileged lady so this person got this um abundance this person got this sudden wealth because of a child and that child is now turning out not to be this person's and um this mature woman became like obviously of a commitment ended a marriage or something like that it ended because of the situation because maybe this person was unfaithful and then they had a child and um they kind of left this other person out in the cold the mature woman and they put this other main female as you know their person and now they're finding out that this person this child isn't even theirs and the this person and the despair was at the bottom of the deck honestly did you guys did i show you guys but anyways it was at the bottom of the deck and so this person's in regret because he basically let somebody get in between something that was supposed to be a contract like a you know a marriage contract something that um you know you guys have vowed to be with each other so this is a secret this isn't gonna happen this if this hasn't if this hasn't come out or if this hasn't then it's going to because this in horizons came out which means it's in a later date that this could be happening and then the family room is right here this means secrets secrets um however what this is gonna do is gonna set somebody on their path and they're gonna go on some sort of journey they're gonna go on a journey and they're gonna um this could potentially put somebody in poverty or in not, not poverty but like something along the lines that they're not gonna have uh you know maybe this person depended on that that other energy you know for stability and um you know life lifestyle change because you know when you have two 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 on the phone when i saw um and i got the thinking man right here um oh and the temple path oh my god this is this is a spiritual path this is when you take your spiritual path so i think this person he has a crystal in his hand too i feel like he's starting to get into his spirituality if this has not happened it's going to happen and look this is gonna this is going to um set this person on their right path and they're gonna be receiving this sort of cornucopia right here yeah um they're gonna be receiving like you know blossoming abundance when i spit the deck you guys i'm not kidding this is so dope okay let me get into the tarot real quick yeah i feel like this person really invested in some sort of situation and they're looking at this and they're like wow is this gonna really be over whether or not i mean this may not always resonate with anybody but this isn't, this isn't gonna resonate with everybody but okay could be doing with a Leo and a Cancer. You could have a tattoo like right here or something. Maybe it could be small, like something like this. But yeah. Let's see. I feel like you're finding the strength to move forward. Um, whether this be you that maybe and maybe it doesn't have to necessarily be a secret, like a secret, like maybe the other person really thought that this was like i don't know maybe this person didn't do it intentionally or or maybe they really 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 thought that you were but um i guess maybe it just but to not be honest about it like come on you can't just come on guys the nine of swords i feel like this person's in despair obviously like if you i mean i can't even imagine and I'm sorry for anybody going through this. That's really sucky, you know? So um, we got the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Okay. So the Queen of Pentacles is like a wife energy. It's a wife. It could be a wife. And um, the Knight of Wands is a person who is very... Uh, who ha who's in their sexual energy. And the Five of Swords is someone with some mental conflict. Yeah, it has to do with um, stability, with the family situation. 
yeah it's keeping somebody stuck and it's keeping somebody like super guarded and wounded and i feel like they're um kind of just like standing like you know that i mean anybody going through the situation that would be very heartbreaking and so many burdens on their back this person i feel like really took care of a lot of things so we got the three of swords and we got the ten of wands so i feel like you or your person really took care of a lot of things um they really the masculine really tried to um he carried the weight in the relationship um but and i feel like this person made um a good significant amount of money and that's why this other person was privileged you know they were able to get whatever they wanted but right now i'm seeing five of pentacles i feel like this person is going to be left out in the cold i picked up the four of wands and it was in the reverse so that means like no union or there's going to be some sort of uh separation five of cups and five of wands whoa you guys got the five of pentacles the five of cups and the five of wands there's there was some sort of of course this could cause a conflict but like this was definitely a conflict um they put you in competition i feel like this person's gonna be left out in the cold um and i feel like this person it's it's really it's a sad situation to go through this person was juggling yeah so if there was obviously if this person this child is not yours this person was definitely juggling you in the past um maybe they didn't maybe this was the past like you know maybe it just happened and then, like maybe they didn't realize I don't, I don't know i'm just trying to make it as nice as possible <laughs> uh the three of cups came out came up in the reverse yeah there was definitely a third party situation in the past that really created this sticky situation see what's next for this person what are they gonna do okay we got the knight of cups okay so okay so i feel like um after this happens it's kind of like gonna if this hasn't already happened i feel like this is gonna free up someone's spot like a spot like you know <laughs> like a spot's opening up or something maybe this person really didn't even want to be there oh okay this doesn't necessarily have to be that this child is not yours maybe this person made it seem like they were pregnant or something and they really weren't and they, they were trying to play this person that's what i'm getting okay so we got the knight of cups the six of cups and the two of pentacles i feel like after this just comes out this person's gonna be um leaving this energy leaving this energy out in the cold and they're gonna come and give whoever it is that they really do want to be with maybe this person has their eye out on somebody and they're gonna give them they're gonna they're start they're starting to work on wanting to give this person an offer i feel like it's come um a matter of time before this person comes in i feel like you're their wish fulfillment you could be somebody from um i like to say past but this could be a past life soulmate so you've known this person before yeah i feel like this this back and forth um maybe you guys are going back and forth in your head um maybe there's some sort of truth that needs to be said maybe you don't know maybe this isn't even you maybe it's external to you maybe somebody has to tell you that this has happened and i feel like they're kind of stuck in their head about it yeah there was this definitely a breakdown in a family situation the fat hand of cups came up in the reverse five of swords again wanted to pop out so definitely some sort of conflict where somebody was very like harsh with their communication could have been you just saw the king of wands right there on the bottom so so okay i feel like there's somebody's no longer waiting waiting to um let me see somebody's no longer waiting somebody's taking back their offer um from this person if you do find out that like if it has to do with like this person was never pregnant or maybe they tried to trap you know like that whole oh i'm trapping you so i'm gonna pretend um maybe they really were just being dishonest with you um and i feel like you're not trying to be made, made out like a fool the tower i feel like this is really gonna cause some sort of disruption we got the nine of swords this is gonna cause somebody to feel super defensive super upset of course if you're in love with somebody and this person is trying to 
leave you of course you're gonna feel super distraught try to do everything possible get angry get mad get sad like that's just how it goes but you have to learn how to accept oh i feel like this um, uh, this emperor has his eye on this uh, queen of wands aries zero sagittarius for both signs that's those are fire signs right there uh, this one's an aries card wow i just pulled out the four of wands which is union there's gonna be some sort of ending that needs to happen though yeah there's gonna be a re reconciliation i feel like this person really wants to celebrate with you it's a secret for right now or like this is something that this person is working on is um maybe coming in with some sort of offer or like you know maybe going asking you out on a date i don't know let's see what is this card flipped okay two of wands yeah so i feel like this person kind of always kept you stuck waiting around for them um Maybe this is this person, maybe you're waiting for this person to come in and give you some sort of offer because you're kind of expecting it, but you're kind of just there waiting, getting some sort of like, you know, just chilling, trying to weigh in your options, weigh in your, um, what you want to do. I was going to say something and then I totally lost my train of thought. Three of Pentacles is um, collaboration, working together. what the outcome was going to be for all of this we got the nine of pentacles and the page of swords so i feel this is going to push you guys into maybe you guys are trying to go back to school or learn something new or start something new um i feel like uh when i with that card i feel like you guys are either learning something new and it's going to bring you guys to some sort of financial um independence financial stability which is something i'm sure everybody wants that um it's everybody's wish for fulfillment to be financially secure you know but um yeah i feel like uh excuse me guys i feel like you're gonna learn something new and it's gonna um really set you off and be a part uh be different from from other people and it's gonna um gain you a lot of abundance have it's gonna gain you a lot of abundance does that does that make sense okay so signs that i see real quick because sometimes people like the signs all right major signs i see aries virgo taurus capricorn scorpio um aquarius libra gemini i mean not aquarius libra gemini a sagittarius all the signs you know what i'm gonna just say all the signs one more thing, I'm going to put some angel very soon. So maybe this person is going to come in very soon. Maybe they have, like I keep saying, maybe somebody had to end something. Or maybe something happened. There was an ending of some sort, betrayal. But it's going to make you, we got at the beginning of this reading about um, the silver lining. So maybe there's an end. Yes, there's an ending, but kind of 3333 three, three, as I look up um 33 33 um maybe this is gonna create a new wave or like a new energy so that you can find your true love because true love did come out it says this is the romance of a lifetime so in order to gain that this soulmate or this high level soulmate you have to release your past and release that um idea of that person being your future you know because you you know if that person's hurt you if somebody's hurt you and even if this whole story didn't resonate like if it's no child involved or nothing just in general if somebody's not making you happy step away like it's like you know it's okay like this is gonna help you find who you're supposed to be with if somebody's leaving you then that's on god to see that and they're the ones that need to be judged and then you move on with your life yes it could be tough it's not easy going through some sort of breakup where you feel like you thought in your head that this person was going to be your everything that you were going to marry this person that you were going to build a family with this person have a house with this person but we have to mourn the loss of a connection um 
and uh, let it go. And if it comes back to us, it comes back to us. It's meant to be. If it's not, then it was never meant to be. And we have to move on with our lives and find our true soulmate that we're supposed to be with in our own time. Did a card fly? I feel like, oh, it did. <laughs> Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, so um, codependency also came out. So maybe you guys were very attached to this person. You guys have to release attachment um love loving without attachment i'm starting to understand this concept and what you have to do in order to receive um love and be able to just be okay with if that person does leave obviously not just all the time like in and out energy but you know if you're committed to somebody and that person's committed to you for that time trust them and have the understanding that they're gonna be the one for you if not you know release your ex guys came out release your ex we're already 35 minutes in. That's the longest reading ever. I think I'm good. I'm done. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Hope this resonates with you guys. 3555. Five, five. Bye 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 on the phone. So, oh, it's kind of late right now. What time is it? It's late. All right. Hope you guys liked it. Let me know if it resonates with anybody. Click on the video, like it, subscribe, and we're good. <laughs> All right, happy Saturday, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.